creamy garlic red bliss mash. Four cloves of skin off garlic go right in with our red bliss potatoes. And we're gonna throw on cold water and then bring it up to temp, which is real important when you're doing mashed potatoes and you're boiling the potatoes. You don't wanna shock them. You start them in cold water, they're all gonna eat or heat properly. You see how hungry I am? I'm saying eat. <laughs> Shout out to Freud. All right, so I'm gonna bring that up to a boil. Put the salt in after it comes to a boil because salting before can hinder the boiling. You know that your Red Bliss potatoes are ready to go for your mash when you stick the fork in and it comes right off, which it did just now. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and drain it. Remember, we boiled these potatoes with four cloves of garlic water. We brought it up to a boil and then we dropped in some salt. I mean, this is gonna be really good garlic mash because the water it boiled in, garlic water. All right, so I'm gonna put it right back into the same pot we boiled it in. Garlic clove pieces and all, do not lose the flavor. And then we're gonna leave the heat on just a little bit. So all of the moisture that's on the skin of our Red Bliss potatoes is gonna kind of just evaporate. All right, so get my masher out. I'm gonna go ahead and add in some heavy cream, room temp, so it doesn't bring down the temperature of the potatoes we just boiled. I'm gonna turn off my heat. Gonna add some butter. These are gonna be creamy. And the way I like my mashed potatoes is a little chunky. You know, if you're doing it for yourself, of course, make it like you want to. But if you have friends come over, I always do the, how do you like yours, chunky or creamy? So I don't want someone leaving saying, I don't know, her mashed potatoes were too chunky. I like it chunky. <laughs> All right, and don't be shy with the salt either. You can really add a lot of salt to potatoes before you really start to taste it. All right, so everything is in the pot. I'm gonna go ahead and mash away. All right, I might wanna check those before I'm done with my mash. Put a little elbow grease into this. This is gonna be really good. I love leaving the skin on as well. Add some texture, a little bit of color. You know what? I eyeballed the heavy cream pretty good. All done there. All I'm gonna have to do is probably give it a taste and see if I wanna throw a little bit more salt and pepper in. All right, so let's see about some of this garlic mash. Remember, our Red Bliss potatoes. Oh man, we boiled them in water with garlic cloves, hit them with some salt, butter, heavy cream, and you're done. I'm gonna taste to my potatoes. Garlic. Wow.